have you guys been doing like shows recently like after a hiatus like I don't know some people were going like two years without doing any shows and all of a sudden it's just like bam here we are again doing shows I think our, we've had like a year and five months of no shows and then it was just like boom like all of a sudden it was like we could be booked every day if we wanted to it was crazy Whoa. It's, uh, it's been pretty full on, but you know, we, we love it. So, I mean, we're back in it and it feels like home. Yeah. yeah. Our first priority was just making sure it was the safe and right thing to do. And that like, you know, we were playing venues where there was vaccinations and then, and people were being safe because I think, you know, we didn't want to dip our hand in the cookie jar when it too prematurely, you know, it was very important to us, like as, as artists to sort of lead by example and do the right thing. And when it felt safe to do so, it was like, all right, game on. Oh, right. You know, it, it's one of those things where it's like everybody's excited, but it's like this excited, cautious optimism that's like, oh, can I? Oh, it's like you're yeah. just stepping over the line of it being like, OK, again. But people just like everybody needs live music. Everybody needs to let it out. And people have been like, yeah, oh, my God, I was partying like the first time I've been out in two years. Yeah, it's great. It's been really cool for us to see how much people cherish like those that ability to go out and like cut loose you know it's like some people will, like eat peanut butter sandwiches all week just so they <laughs> can go out on the weekend and like cut loose and I didn't realize that it was so central to people's sense of well-being which is sort of it's unfortunate that we had to go through a sort of negative almost tragedy to to realize that but it's also on the other hand like kind of heartwarming to know that it music and and being at live shows and like being out with people is very central to the human experience in a way, you know, so. Yeah, and you guys are a big part of it, especially coming back and doing all these shows. Did you guys write your album during the pandemic? Yeah, we, our last show with the band was March 7th, 2020. And then the world oh. shut down like 12 or 14 days later. And we had planned to take two months off to like start working on the record and build our studio in LA. And two months turned into basically almost two years of, of you know, uh, of locking down. And uh, and so this this album was basically entirely made during the pandemic. And we, we had like, you know, with every record, you have a few ideas kicking around from before and things like that. But we finished everything or fleshed out everything during the pandemic, which, you know, is, this is it's going to be a special record for us forever because it was made during a time that I don't think will ever be repeated or at least hopefully, hopefully. not during our during our lifetime. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But, you know, we think it's it's the most honest record we've ever made. It's a very direct record lyrically. We, you know, we sort of we didn't hold back. We weren't shy and, and uh, you know, we're very proud with the result and, and super happy that it seems to be connecting with a lot of people. Oh, we're so excited. You know, everybody is just so stoked to have you. We're so stoked to be playing it. And we're so stoked to actually be able to see you live because that's a big deal. Yeah, it's going to be great. Thank you so much for talking. Have a of great course, one, guys. Take care. Bye.